Welcome to Radiance Co-Housing, a nine-unit passive house townhouse complex located in Saskatoon, Canada. After five years of planning, construction started in 2017 and was completed at the end of 2018. The project is fairly unique in this part of the world, being the first co-housing project in Canada to seek passive house certification and one of the most energy efficient buildings in the prairies. The project was developed by a dedicated group of people who wanted to create homes that were built sustainably and that placed community at the heart of design. The team of eight households pooled their resources, formed a development company, and worked together to plan and manage the development of their own homes. The end result is something that meets the needs of residents and the collaborative approach that began during the planning and building phases of the project led to strong relationships once people moved in. Buildings designed to the Passifo standard use approximately 90% less space heating than an average Canadian home, which means that this nine unit housing complex has less space heating requirements than one average home. This is achieved through super insulation, air tightness, proper ventilation, and good quality south facing windows. The additional cost to add these components to Radiance Co-Housing was approximately 6%. Radiance Co-Housing makes effective use of passive solar gain and was designed to ensure that each unit has adequate south exposure. The roof line of the south building is designed to allow the north building's main floor to receive direct solar gain throughout the year. Not only that, but by significantly reducing space heating requirements, this prevented the need to add a furnace or a natural gas connection. Instead, the homes are heated using a combination of the sun, internal heat gains such as the heat given off by people, appliances and lights, and an air source heat pump with backup electric heater. The wall assembly, building form and insulation types went through several iterations. In the end, the decision was made to go with townhouse style homes because they offer energy efficiency benefits due to their compact form and shared walls. The final wall assembly includes 11 inches of rigid wood fiber insulation called Gutex, which was fastened with long stainless steel screws to the 2x6 wall. The product is made of waste wood fiber from the forestry industry and is biodegradable and offers good fire resistance. Using this approach, the project achieved R60 in the walls. The project also added insulation around the foundation and 12 inches of insulation underneath the slab, which provides R50. Plus, there's blown-in cellulose insulation in the roof, which provides R100. The primary air and vapor barrier, which is the green product seen here, called Intisana by Proclima, was installed over the 3 quarter inch structural sheathing, and this allowed the 2x6 structural wall to act as a service cavity. For the roof, the Intello product was used as the air and vapor barrier. The Passifo certified windows and doors are Canadian made by Cascadia. They're triple paned, argon filled, with insulated fiberglass frames and warm edge spacers. The windows have been mounted in the middle of the wall to optimize the performance and comfort of the window and prevent condensation. And with low E coating selected for high solar heat gain, these south facing windows gain more energy than they lose throughout the heating season. Each suite has a small mechanical room with equipment to supply heating and cooling, ventilation, and hot water. A Passifo certified energy recovery ventilator is used to supply constant fresh air and ventilation. The ERV also helps maintain optimal indoor humidity levels, which is an added benefit in Saskatchewan's dry climate. A centralized air source heat pump system provides heating and cooling for the units. There's one indoor fan coil in each home and one outdoor condensing unit per building. The indoor fan coil is also supplied with an inline electric duct heater that kicks in when the outdoor temperature drops below minus 20 degrees Celsius. And this backup heating source is required in our climate because air source heat pumps can only effectively provide heating down to about minus 20. Hot water is provided by heat pump water heaters complemented by drain water heat recovery. While occupants are showering, the copper drain water heat recovery units preheat incoming cold water with the heat from the warm shower water that's going down the drain. And this saves energy by transferring heat before that water is drained away. After residents moved in, Netatmo monitors were installed to monitor indoor air quality, including temperature, humidity, and carbon dioxide levels. 
Energy monitors are also used to help residents optimize energy use and diagnose energy use issues. Plus, energy monitoring is one of the best tools to ensure a net zero building is functioning as desired. The interior layouts and designs of the townhouses vary from unit to unit. Not only do residents benefit from the passive house features of their homes, these units also include energy efficient LED lighting and take advantage of natural light. They include high efficiency appliances and water efficient fixtures, and they've been customized to suit each homeowner. In terms of the other environmental features of the project, a 126 panel 38 kilowatt solar PV array was installed by the SES Solar Co-op, which is a local cooperative that invests their members' share capital into large solar installations. Radiance members, as well as any Saskatchewan resident, can purchase shares in the co-op to take part ownership in the solar arrays they install. The electricity output of these panels is also being monitored to see how they're performing in real time. Radiance Co-Housing also houses a shared electric car managed by the Saskatoon Car Share Cooperative, and anyone can access the vehicle by simply becoming a member of the cooperative. The outdoor living space also supports the values of sustainability and community. The landscaping incorporates edible and native plants, as well as provides one garden plot per household. There's also an outdoor cooking and eating area, as well as a shared compost system for food and yard waste. Managing stormwater is also a major focus of the project, so a dry stream was installed down the center of the courtyard, which captures and absorbs rainwater, as well as directs excess stormwater to the street to prevent flooding. There's also a 9,000 liter underground rainwater tank that captures the water from the downspouts. This has been set up with a pump and hose so that rainwater can be used to irrigate the garden. Another great feature of Radiance Co-Housing is the Common House, which is a co-owned space with a multi-use area, office, guest room, and shared balcony. And this is available for residents to use, as well as community members. Well, thank you for taking the time to do a virtual tour of Radiance Co-Housing. We hope this project has shown what's possible in terms of collaborative, sustainable housing that supports community and keeps us cozy even in the coldest climates. To find out more about our project, please visit radiancecohousing.ca.